All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Stunt. I want to show you today how to do the 7.4 version of Bomb Terizo Skip in an RTA setting. So I've loaded up the practice run here so you can see my inputs up in the upper left corner there. So this will make a little more sense when I show you what's going on. So. Um, if you don't know or are unfamiliar with the way to do the 7.3 skip, uh, which is the immediate last version of this game, <clears throat> um, you run in the room, you hold jump, and then you can do a backflip with down and back after buffering that input when grabbing uh, bombs. After the bomb text goes away, she'll immediately jump through the door. However, in 7.4, um, the backflip has been slightly nerfed, so you don't jump as high. It more replicates the vanilla uh, damage boost uh, height and length of actual the boost itself while I'm drinking some coffee. So, um, with that said, the backflip, if we were to do it the way we used to do it, would look like this. You will not make it out of the door. And that causes a problem because the fight's like a good 15, 20 seconds long. And that is a big time loss, especially in a game like this. Um, where there's a lot of competition and a lot of runners who know how to do bomb chorizo skip. So I was thinking, in light of the new version coming out here soon, I wanted to give new runners or runners who are unfamiliar with how to do the new bomb chorizo skip, I wanted to give you a tutorial to show you exactly how to do it. It looks hard on paper, but once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad. So let's start, I guess. <clears throat> all right, so first of all, this doesn't require you to run in or buffer an input or do anything. You can go in the room at your own leisure, but you are gonna stop around right here. Um, you're gonna want a wide enough jump to position yourself properly, so. Um, nothing required in the previous room to set up for this. So I'm going to save here. So when we get bombs, as you know, um, the door locks immediately. So you can't just grab them willy nilly. You can't buffer an input with the item men or the item screen. You can't do that either because it just doesn't work that way. Um, but what we can do, uh, a streamer and fellow runner by the name Mumu Didi actually came up with this setup and it's really amazing. Um, so what you have to do is you're trying to replicate that item buffer animation that you get from 7.3. Sorry, coffee again. Um, so what we want to do is set Samus up in a position to where she'll be standing on the next frame she grabs the item. Uh, if you've watched my moon grab tutorial, it's kind of like that. So when she stands on the next frame, that puts her in a position to do the next inputs after the item menu or this thing right here is gone. So the idea is we want to get her to stand so that when our buffered input goes in, she'll flip immediately on the next frame. So. If you actually, there's two different ways you can do this. You can like get really close to the item. I've seen people like grab it like this and then try to jump out, but you're almost always gonna bonk like the top of the door. Um, what we're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna show you the unmorph technique. Um, so basically you're gonna jump up in the air and right before you hit bombs, you're gonna press up. And you'll know if you get it, because she's gonna look like this. 
She looks like a yellow and red jumping bean. <laughs> or just like, I don't know, a yellow and red pillow. <laughs> Uh, it sounds goofy, but if she looks like this, you've pretty much got it right. So then you're going to hold run, uh, run, jump, and down left, and you'll go out the door, so. Like that. And it should be... You got a couple frames leniency. We thought this was a lot more tight than it really is, but it's more like the positioning of Samus and bonking with the edge of the door here. Um, so again, when you get up, you're going to press up, like just slightly before you hit bombs. And you can do it from here, you can do it from here. I like to pretty much do it from right here, so I have enough room in my head to be like, that's when I have to press up. And then, at, then you're allowed to buffer, run, jump, and down left. Um... And what you're going to want to do is you don't want to go too far left. Um, because if you go too far left. Um, you're going to bonk the lip of the door here. Or the above the door. And then you're just going to get stuck. So if you go too far right. You're also going to hit that. So the idea is. There's a few pixels in the middle of this uh, item that you want to hit. So when I go like this, that's also, if, you, if she looks like this, um, that won't work either. Uh, that is too much. So, um, yeah, so she's got to look like the jumping bean like that. And then you're going to buffer and you can fly out the door. Um, but yeah, you want to be toward of, like, toward of, sort of, towards the middle of this item. So, like, right there. Basically, so she's covering the bottom of it. Like, that may be too far left. See, that was a little bit too far right. This is too far right as well. Oh, that actually worked. Jeez, okay. See, it's got some position leniency, so you don't really have to worry too much about, too much about it. It's more just getting the unmorph part. So like that, that's the big part. Now see how I was buffering, or I'm not buffering, but I'm going to be buffering B, which is my jump and uh, run and down or down back. And you'll make it. Yeah, so pretty simple. So TLDR, get right here, jump, unmorph, hold, jump, run, down back, and you'll make it out. And there you go. Skip bomb trees over. Pretty easy. Alright, hope this helps and uh good luck on the speedruns.